In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a sentiment, a piece of text, and make it match this piece of paper, the angle of the paper, and also sit on the lines on the paper. So first, I'm going to click Insert Sentiment. You can also use the text tool to type in your own text, but in this case, I'm going to use a pre-made phrase for Mother's Day. I'm going to select this one here click insert and now I can click on my document the text appears here. First I want to reduce the size of my text I'm going to click and drag this node here just like this. Next I want the angle of my text to match the angle of the paper so when you select your text you will see a bounding box, a blue bounding box appearing here around the text so I want the top line here to be parallel to the lines on the paper so I go like this and as you can see if I drag the text the blue line is parallel to the black line on the paper so that's fine I'm going to reposition my text just like this so it sits well on the line next I want to do is I split the text in two and make this second part of the text place it underneath the first part on this particular line here. This is very easy to do. You need to click edit points and what it does it creates a node for each letter and also three sliding nodes. There's one here, one there and one there. So first I'm going to cl click this one here, the top right corner node and right to the left so what it does, it splits the text in two. And now I've got a lower part of my text. I want to make it sit on this line here. So I'm going to click and drag the leading node and drag up here. And what it does, it reduces the space between the lines or increases the space between the lines. So I'm going to make it sit here. That's perfect. Next, I want to center my text just like this. And finally, I want to use the third sliding node to create more space in between each letter. So it does increase the size of the text or the letters, but just increases the space between each letter. So click and drag to the right and you get more space between each letter or click towards the left and you get less space. So I'm going to make it set here just like this. Perfect. Um, Finally, I like to change the color of my text. So with the text selected and the fill selected, I'm going to click the color picker, choose a color from my document, like a red, dark red actually, from here. And with the text selected, the fill selected, I'm going to click on my picked color. So now the text is red. One last thing I'd like to show you, if you select the text, click edit points, you will see all these nodes here and there's one node per letter. So what it does, it allows you to select each letter individu individually and move it if needed. Um, so in this case, if I want to reduce the space in the word mum, I can click and select each letter individually to uh, reduce the space, just like this. You can also change the angle of the letter just like that. Okay, this concludes our tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it.